with its location in the southern gulf between Iran and Oman, the Hormuz Strait is a strategic passageway for oil tanker traffic. And in this region, tension is mounting. On May 12th, four ships were sunk in what the United Arab Emirates described as a sabotage attack off the coast of Fujairah. On May 14th, Saudi Arabia announced that two of its oil pumping stations had been targeted in an attack claimed by the Houthi rebels, seen by the kingdom as Iran's proxy force in Yemen. Responding to pressure from the US, Iran threatened to block the maritime corridor, an action that would have significant consequences for world oil supplies, pushing up market prices and destabilizing the global economy. A third of the world's oil consumption passes here. So is a blockade plausible? Militarily, yes. Iran has a military port situated at the Strait's entry. It could use a self-defense argument to merely slow traffic. International law guarantees freedom of circulation in the Strait. A total blockade would mean the intervention of the UN Security Council. To unblock civil transport, a military solution wouldn't be ruled out. The headquarters of the US 5th Fleet are close by in Bahrain. France also has a nearby military base in Abu Dhabi. Tension here is nothing new. In 2011, a crisis was sparked when Iran threatened to close the strait as it wrestled with Western countries over the nuclear deal. In the 1980s, during the war between Iran and Iraq, ships and oil plants from the two countries came under attack.